Hi guys, welcome back. Nick Reeves here and you're watching part two of the Ben Buckle Novice build. <coughs> We've uh, pro progressed quite well in the last video. We're doing sanding, sanding ceiling, filling, etc. What we've got now is we've got two airframes that are ready for covering. Um, had a little bit of a mishap with the last video that I recorded. Did a whole 40 odd minute video, no sound. So, in that video, covered the bottom of the wing. Um, so what I'm going to do is recreate this on the other wing, showing you how I did it. Um, this one's Ewan's, he's chosen yellow for the wings. I've got some orange from mine. And then we have one blank wing ready for covering. Now this has had also lock applied, which is the uh, liquid adhesive. You put on it's heat activated. Um, all the links I'll put in the description at the bottom to stuff I've been using. There's also another version which you can get called Cover Grip, which I've got some up there. It's from Deluxe Materials. Um, haven't used it before, but I will be trying that out on this build at some point. Also got second camera going on. Um, so you should be able to get some more close up detail stuff as what I'm doing. So covering. If you've never done it before, it's fairly easy as long as you follow a few basic methods. Um, it's very easy to waste a lot of material. Now this stuff, this roll is quite old. I can tell that because it was 12 quid when I bought it with the price tag. This is now for two meters, nearly 30 quid a roll with this Solotex. So I'm trying to get, I will be trying to be as economical as possible with it. The rolls are just the right width to cover one panel at a time. So I'll be cutting out a panel, applying it by sticking in the center first, pulling it tight, tacking at the ends, doing the tip, tacking at the middle, putting it all tight, then going over the whole lot to heat shrink it down so it's nice and tight, and then trimming up around the edges. Um, so that's what I'm going to be getting on with. Um, I'll try and describe what I'm doing as I'm what I'm doing as I'm doing it. This particular colour is just an orange. I think it's the only orange I do. So I'm hoping, as I've got enough to do both the models with the Celtex I've got, um, I happen to. Because of the price, it's, the company side of them is going out of business. They're, they're closing their doors. Um, so the price has gone up and availability has gone down. So I'm hoping I've got enough before I have to go and fork out for some more. Um, so two models, four colours, two in each model. I'm hoping I've got enough. Now, all of the solar film products come with an information sheet. Um, that is the label. Yeah, I don't know how much you're going to see on that, but it does come with a, a guide as to how to do it. it. shows you how to do all the overlapping and various different things. But there's many ways of doing it, and I'm just going to show you how I do it. Now, one of the things with any covering job is to have a very sharp knife, very sharp scalpel. Um, I could quite easily in one covering job go through four or five different blades. As soon as it seems that it's dragging, I'm not doing a clean cut, bin it, get another one. Um, if you don't, all you're going to end up with is just raggy edges and it won't be very neat. So, first panel, first thing we need is a piece that's wide enough to cover the first part of the wing. Now, as I did this yesterday as well on my other wing, I know roughly how wide it's got to be straight away. And because we've got two factory edges, I'm going to use that as a guide. Again, it's square as well. Uh, but it doesn't have to be too accurate, as long as you've got enough of an overlap around. Out of the 
away just now. I right, shall turn the iron on, which I will have to give it a clean. It got very dirty yesterday for some unknown reason. I don't know where it's picking up all the rubbish from. Um, so, we've got a piece here. The tangle piece, it's the right size. Now again, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera, but there's, a, there's actually a backing on this. It comes off very easily. Uh, it just helps protect the glue that's on the back of the, the film. So all we're going to have to do now is just lay it in place. Start ironing it down. And the backing comes off. There's my communal bin on the floor. So I'm using the factory edge here to line up on the centre line. I'm going to go about a quarter of an inch past. Six millimetres in new money. Make sure I've got enough overlap around the outsides. And enough to do the tip as well. So I'm going to be doing the bottom surface of the wing and the bottom of the tip in the one piece. So let this iron get hot. Warm up there nicely. Good old baby wipes to get things clean. So this, I think, is just glue from here. No, the heat activated glue off the, the back of the film. We need to clean it off. Obviously the iron's quite warm. So you need to do it quite quick before you burn your fingers. It's not too bad. The other thing with covering I find as well is using as much natural light as you can. You can see things a lot easier. So I'm using natural light from the window, just to see the bottom of the, the iron. It's a bit hot here. I think I might have to invest in a new iron. Yeah, Teflon surface is starting to come away from this one. Right, so that'll do for now. That's clean enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tack it front and rear, tack it the front first, lift it, pull it tight the back, just tack it down. Because this covering is heat, heat, it's like a heat shrink. So you want to go around the outsides first and then let it shrink in the middle. But if you can get as much of the wrinkle, wrinkles out of it as possible, and as much slack out of it as possible to start with, put you onto a head start. So. Just a attack at the front, just to hold it in place, lift it up, making sure it's where you want it, get attention, and then start tacking it down at the back. Now what you will find is that you can start to see where it's actually stuck. It's getting glue on this already. So, once those two are attacked, what I'm going to do is just run back towards myself, tacking that down, or ironing it down to make sure it's solid. That's nice and solid there. And then using the heel, just coming over the edge, put a slight angle on it. I don't want to go onto the other panel of the wing, because that's got the adhesive already on it. There must be some sort of coating or something that this is picking up. Certainly not good anyway. Right, so it's, it's fixed at this end. All I'm going to do now is come down to here and see what we can see up here. Come down to this end. Pull it tight lengthways. And tack it in the middle of the uh, tip. So you can see already there's wrinkles in that. So I'm going to lift it up again, put it down the middle, pull it out. Because even just the, the heat of your fingers can start to activate the, the glue that's been put on. And just run down the tip, down the middle. 
just to put it in place. Yeah, there's something that's going on here. I don't, I'm not sure where this rubbish is coming from. But I've just ironed a, a black mark into that. Which I'm going to see if I can clean out. Right, let's go across the rest of the tip. So at the front here, you have to do a little bit of a cut to get it all round neatly. something on there that's we'll come up with a bit of heat there so it's definitely like glue or something so I'm not too worried about that that will come off but I want to keep it off the iron so I don't spread it so the tips are all secured there so what I'm going to do now is come to the center a little bit of tension and tack it there the reason for doing the tacking is so that if it isn't quite right, you can actually take it off again and not waste the whole panel. And that one I'm just going to come all the way across. So that's now quite well secured there. Again, just move along, another tack. Same the other side, a little bit of tension. Tack it in place. Halfway along, quarter way along now again. Just another tack. And another tack of the training edge here. So when I'm happy with that, what I'm going to do now is come across, tack this edge here, and where you've got the fully sheeted part underneath, I'm going to actually go over that hole here and make sure that's all secure. So from there, just lay the iron down flush and flatten the surface. And just work my way across. And already we're ironing something into the surface of this. I haven't got a clue what it is. I'm beginning to wonder if there's something coming out of these wipes. Shouldn't be, but. Clean that off later. So, just get some heat back into this again. Make sure it's all secure. And hold a little bit of tension and work my way along this edge. Sorry if I'm not talking too much while I'm doing this. Normally uh, just concentrate on what I'm doing. Right, so that edge is quite well secured. So I'm just going to work my way along the training edge doing a similar sort of thing. Okay, so that's all quite nicely secured around the edges. Um, not happy about that tip there at all. So what I need to do now to get a nice edge around here to fold it around 
You can put a little cut in the film. Just right at the front of the tip. Should be able to get that folded neatly around there. And the same at the trailing edge. You've got to kind of feel with the, the blade as to where it should be cut. You can see it trying to spike through. So just make sure it's nicely stuck down at the tip there. Same at the leading edge. Make sure it's all nicely stuck down. Okay. So, what we're going to do now, working from the end, we're going to heat up the panel and such in the middle, make sure it's all fully sucked down. I'm not going to press down hard. Let me give that another clean. Uh, I'm not going to press down hard on it, I'm just going to basically use the weight of the iron to press down onto the, the airframe. It should be enough to press the film onto the airframe underneath. You do keep the iron in one place, you keep it moving. So you don't want to burn through the film, which is certainly possible. Um, but then obviously anywhere it touches, the airframe underneath, you want to make sure it's stuck quite well to that. So the rib cap strips. Go over there and make sure they're stuck. And obviously all the sheeted areas. Make sure they're all stuck down nicely. The open structure areas, they'll pull tight, give you a nice finish. It certainly doesn't take long. I mean, as an example, I don't know how well you better hear it, but that's quite tight there. I mean, even that's a bit tight there. But it's it's only tighter once it's got some heat into it. And it's stuck down for So that was the basic area ironed on, so nice and tight. Then we'll start doing is trimming up. So then we'll start with the trailing edge. So as we can see, I'm just going to hold it over at 90 degrees around the trailing edge and just come around with the iron to encourage it to come around. And then it'll be flattening it off so it's actually sticking to the trailing edge. Going over this again once it's trimmed to size anyway. And when we come to it as well, obviously the top surface will be overlapping this bit. Okay, so that's stuck down. So what I'm going to do now is run the blade using the flat edge of the blade, having the, the, the edge of the flat of the blade running against the wing. I'll use my fingers running along the wing as well to keep it all nice and straight and get a nice neat cut that's tight to the tight to the wing. So just slipped it through, 
Two off the edge of the wing and just gently run along. And so when you've got a nice clean blade, it will just slide along here and not even think about tearing or anything like that. So number one tip, always have a sharp blade. It can be the difference between a, a neat covering job and a horrible one. So once it's trimmed up like that, you can now bring the iron back in and just roll it around, get it stuck down nice and neatly. The easiest way to check if it's down is just feel. You can feel if there's a, an edge up, so you just need to run over it. Now I haven't put the adhesive onto the top surface of the wing yet, so I'm not too worried about going over that with the iron. I'm not going to pick up any glue there. So that's all nice and neat. A little bit there that's not down properly. Okay, so now it's exactly the same thing for the leading edge, but this time what we're going to do is we're going to leave a lot more to wrap around because obviously it's a much bigger radius. So I'm going to leave about half an inch coming up around the leading edge of the wing. Again, it's just getting the knife through, feeling where the back of the blade, where the wing is, and just gently resting it on there and sliding it along. So get a nice clean cut and edge. Now, this wing is going to be the orange top and bottom, so we, you won't see the join line. But if you were to see the join line with two different colours, say you wanted blue on top say you take the orange the bottom surface a lot further round and then bring the blue up to it and get a nice clean join cut edge on the blue um to make it a nice crisp edge with this you, it could be jaggy along here no it doesn't have to be, no, it could be a wavy line you won't see it because it's the same color so again same again just getting along keeping the heat moving and just gently bring it around the radius, get it stuck down. So that's pretty well stuck. The easiest way to do it again is just to run your fingers down, see if it's lifted anywhere. Now what I'm going to do is work on this tip. Still on the leading edge part, just so I can see how up close as to where it all is. And that's pretty good. There's a little bit here that needs a bit more heat to get it shrunk and stuck. So that's the bulk of the trimming and covering done there. So now we've got the tip to do. You can see the black marks on there. That should come off with a bit of uh, meths or something like that. Um, what I'm do is I'm actually going to pull this tip round and get some heat into it just to try and follow it around the curve before I cut it. 
Uh, using the tools are available, like my belly, I can just hold it around there. Form it around. Uh, this material, Solotex, it will stretch quite a lot with heat, so you can get to go around compound curves. This isn't a compound curve, it's just trying to get a nice and neat edge. I'm going around the, uh, the tip. Right, and then to trim, exactly the same again, but it's a bit more awkward because you've got a tighter radius to cut round. So I'm just going to get the knife through, about an eighth of an inch overlap. Too much of an overlap. And same again, just going to have to bring this round. What can you see up there? Nothing. I'm just going to bring this round. Keep the heat on a bit longer this time. Just so it forms and shrinks round as we go. I'll try and do it all in one go. And turn the ring round so I can see it. Possibly a bit too much material there, I could have trimmed that a bit neater, but I'm not overly worried. Shrink down, that'd be neat. And then when the top surface comes in, you won't see it at all. Wrinkle there, get some direct heat into that, that'll come out. Right, so that is a quarter of the covering done on this one wing panel. I need to see about cleaning up that bit there. There's obviously some dirt that the iron picked up. But it's quite, what can you see up there? It's quite neatly done. It didn't take too long to do. Um, as I said, I always use natural light. I'm looking out the window there to see where it's fixed and stuck and where it's not, how tight it is. There's no reason why I couldn't just go over that now, just again to put a bit more heat in to shrink it down nicely. This is a final touch. Because I really want these models is for them to last. We don't want the covering falling off before the models are finished. As I'm finished flying with. So yeah, that's one quarter of this wing covered. So we're now going to do the same again on this panel, this one and this one. Um, and that'll be the wing completed then. So it didn't take too long. Um, yeah, if you've not done much covering before, it'll take longer. But a few hours, and you could probably have, if you're just doing one of these models, a few hours, you could probably have the whole airframe covered. Um, Next part of the video will probably be on covering the fuselage, which is slightly different, but the same process. Um, any questions that you've got, just ask. Um, there's a lot of people that I've come across through flying who have never actually built an airplane from a kit or plans. So it's all ALTF stuff, so they, they haven't learned how to cover. So if there's anything I can help with, just I said, just ask a question and I'll answer it as best I can. Um, so right now, where we are, we've got 
this wing quarter done. Ewan's wing is half done, and the fuselage haven't even been started yet. Um, I wanted to get the wings done first, and then uh, work on the fuselages. Um, I'm still undecided at the moment as to wh whether to cover the whole of the fuselage in one sitting, and then fit the tails to them, and then cover the tails or to have the tails attached. I suspect I'm going to cover the fuselage first and then fit the tails to it. Um, just because the, the, under the tailplane, the, the tailplane seat area, I always find that awkward to uh, to cover. So it's a lot easier if the tailplane isn't there. Um, but yeah, so it, that's covering basically. Um, I'm going to crack on now and get the wings finished. And then um, the next part of this video, we'll be looking at the fuselages, covering them, or at least one of them anyway. Uh, and we'll see what we get up to after that. So, yeah, it's coming on nicely. I'm pleased with the results so far. Um, looking forward to the flying now, really. So, for now, I shall leave you with it. And I'll catch you again next time when we start looking at the fuselages. So until then, I'll catch you again later. Thanks for watching the video. Give us a thumbs up if you like what I've just shown you. Click on my face down here. You can subscribe. Remember to tick the bell so you get notifications as to when new videos are put up. And down this side, there'll probably be some videos that you might also like to watch. Catch you next time.